everybody, it's Danielle and I'm here to talk about my week 34 and week 35 post-op vertical sleeve surgery. My highest weight was 300 pounds. My day of surgery weight was 291. My day of surgery was August 24th, 2018. I am 5'11 and I am 38 years old. So this week I weighed in at 201. I have not been accepted into Wonderland yet, you know. What are we gonna do? So, um, it sucks. It sucks a lot because I really tried last week. I upped my calories thinking that was maybe what the issue was. I'm not getting enough carbs. So I had like a little bit more carbs last weekend. It didn't help. This week I tracked everything. I stayed between 1,000 to 1,200 calories. Um, stayed within my numbers and nothing. It's, um, it's rather frustrating, actually. I'm just gonna move you guys back a little bit there because I don't know, I feel like I'm on my phone because my battery for my camera is charging and I don't feel like waiting like for an hour or two. I just wanna film and take a shower and get out of the banana dress and put my pajamas on. See, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the banana dress made in her debut today, so. And I don't even know where to look at the camera like I on my phone because I need to be looking that way because if not, I'm looking this way and it doesn't make sense. So I apologize. And this, we are going off the rails and we're not even two minutes in. Anyways, so I, like I said, I upped my carbs a little bit. I upped my calories last weekend. I, um, I tracked this week and nothing. Um, we're still sitting here. Actually, it's kind of funny. This morning, I just jumped on the scale just to see because, um, it's funny, uh, Joe from Addie and Joe told me I should do a sneak attack on the scale. And so I'm like, we're gonna do it. So I did it this morning and I should have taken a picture because I was so pissed off. It's It was 200 pounds even. Like you couldn't, you couldn't even give me, you couldn't even give me like half a pound. Like you couldn't even like just push me over the edge. No, sis, you're the, right there standing on the edge, sorry no entrance for you wonderland is closed okay like the griswolds when they go to wally world and he punches the moose because they're closed uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's how it felt okay anyways so what has been going on for the past two weeks um at work they asked me to be part of the party planning committee and the first thing that went through my mind is if you watch The Office, the PPC uh, on there, uh, I don't know, I just had total Angela Martin vibes and like uh, when Phyllis and all that. If you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, this is totally, doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I had a moment like that. So they're like, oh, let's do something for Mother's Day. Okay. So I go into the first meeting and they're like, we're gonna have a brunch and we wanna do like donuts and pastries and um, just all this breakfast stuff and a lot of like high carb breakfast muffins and all that, just, which is fine because it's not about me. You know, it, it's, it's not all about me, but I'm just sitting there thinking like, oh my God, how do I help plan something that I can't even really take a part of? Um, I can, but just like in moderation. And I've only been in this particular position for two, no, it hasn't been. It's been a month and we've already had, they had some like Easter thing go down and now they're doing something for Mother's Day and there's talk of Memorial Day shenanigans. So I'm like, there's food everywhere all the time. Somebody brought in donuts the day prior to Mother's Day and then we had the Mother's Day brunch on the Friday before Mother's Day. I'm like, there's so much food. Um, so anyways, they were asking me, they're like, oh, you know, do you like donuts? Do you like this type of stuff? I'm like, sure, yeah, I do, it's no big deal. I'm like, okay, you know. And they're talking about like, eating all this type of stuff. I'm like, yeah. And they're, you know, they're kind of like looking at me because I'm not really giving too much input. I'm not really giving off the vibe that I want to be there. And I just say, yeah, that's all great. I'm like, just just so you know, guys, now I had, I had weight loss surgery. I had the vertical sleeve. And they're like, wow, really? That's awesome, that's so fantastic. They were asking me about it, like, good for you. You know, and I don't mind telling people about it. I know different people feel differently about it, and hey, whatever works for you, that works for you. Me, I don't mind being um, 
talkative about it. I mean, it's not gonna be like the first thing I say, I guess in this instance, it maybe was the first thing I said, but I just felt maybe obligated to say something because I just wasn't giving much of an input. So anyways, um, you know, my, co my coworkers know, not all of them, just a few of them that I sit next to because they're always seeing me eating protein protein bars and things like that and not eating much food and you know they ask they have questions and they want to they ask me about it they ask me you know how what, what about this what about that and I and I like that I don't have a problem answering any questions to the best of my ability for people um you know and it's been positive feedback all around you know everyone has been really nice about it and you know and I don't mind talking about it because I don't feel like I would have gotten this far I wouldn't have gone anywhere if I didn't have this surgery. So I don't want to tell people that, you know, oh, I just, I just exercise or I just, you know, eat right. And, you know, well, I do eat much better than I used to, but it's all because of the sleeve, you know, and I really owe a lot to it and I'm very grateful. But anyways, so yeah, we had that. We had, and I'm sure we're going to be having another shindig for, uh, Memorial Day, which, you know, I'm happy for the team camaraderie and all that. I just, the, the temptation is just around me all the time. And um, I went dress shopping. I went out and about. Um, I, you know, I just, it was last weekend and I was kind of bored and I just wanted to go out and try on clothes. Um, so I tried on some dresses and I was actually in New York and company and there was this one red dress I tried on. It was a large a large now and it's just it's it's amazing to me to think that I can fit into a large and I, I mean I'm from like a, a 3x a 3 freaking x you know size 22 24 and just being able to fit into a large is like amazing now I mean this dress that I'm wearing right now is an extra large but just to be in these like dress sizes it's crazy um, also, too, with my weight, I feel like I've plateaued. Um, I would show you, but I took this picture. I was at Walmart the other day, and they have, uh, you know, the blood pressure machines, and I tend to always check my blood pressure because prior to surgery, I had high blood pressure, and I was on medication for it, and um, heart disease, high blood pressure, and all that runs on my mom's side of the family. Well, you know, I don't need the medication or anything anymore. However, when I am out and about, I do uh, make a point to stop and check my blood pressure just because I want to make sure everything's okay, nothing's crazy, and it was fine. Everything was normal. However, they had this, like, obesity, weight mass, something test, and I, it's, again, it's on my phone. I can't show you right now. Maybe I'll have my husband, like, put a picture of it um, on the side, and it, it was, like, later in the evening. It said I was weighing 205. Um which, you know, it's fine, um, but it's, I think I was at like 28 point something percent, and I am supposed to be between 18 and 24 percent of body fat um, mass, so I'm still considered obese. That's fun and exciting. Um, you know, I just I wonder though for my body because I'm really tall and I and I know the sleeve you know will slow down being 30 with five weeks out I mean has it already slowed down already that kind of sucks if it did um, or is it my body just at a comfortable spot where it's like no girl you're good you don't need to lose no any more weight like hey thanks however contrary to popular belief <laughs> I'm still obese <laughs> anyways um so that's just, you know, something I need to probably ask the bariatric coordinators about um, just to see what they say, although I feel like I never get any real riveting information when I call, so we'll see. But if you guys have any suggestions or anything, tips for your sis, let me know in the comments, please, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'll get to Wonderland at some point. I just, I'll get there when I get there. Um, also, too, I had another appointment with my therapist. Um, actually, she's a counselor, not a therapist. Um, we've gone over some things, and basically my mind is like a taskmaster, and uh, it never rests. It's always going. Um, when I think of things, it's just uh, 
snowball effect really like I just I'll start thinking about things and it just goes and goes and goes well what about this what about this what if this happens what about like this that and the other and there's there's more to it I mean there's more things I'm just not going to go all into complete and utter detail about it but um it feels good to talk about it it feels good to like just know that my mind just isn't like on overdrive all the time um but it also makes me sad that I can't like get control of it if that makes sense uh so yeah that's it um I hope if you are a mom that you had an amazing mother's day I don't have any children but my sweet dog Liz um, with the help of her dad, they there's this place up in Seattle. It's called Proshki Proshki. They have the most delicious little Russian pastries ever. Well, at least I find them delicious. And they had this, I guess, deal my husband was saying online. Uh, it was like a good price for the shipping. And they sent me some uh, pastries, which was a wonderful carb treat. I actually have some in my freezer because uh, I could not go through all of them. So I had a couple um, over the course of a few days and the rest are in the freezer. So that was wonderful. Um, so we're downstairs and I'm sitting at my bar and I'm really embarrassed about my curtains because I threw them in the dryer a while ago. And I have new curtains. I'm just waiting to get um, this right here, that's the wall I was talking about that I wanted to redo with like the ship lab and then like, um, have the faux fireplace and then the TV is going to be right where those pictures are. Um, not that you can see all of it. And I have these gray curtains. They're like a light medium gray, but I, I have them. I'm going to replace all of these and they're like a fuller. So it won't look so fucking drab in here. So I apologize for that nonsense happening right there. Jesus. Um, so that's that's what's going on you guys um I love watching all your videos I listen to you in the car I listen to you all about work and I'm really grateful for this community and everything that you guys you know do and your support and your tips and tricks and all that type of fun stuff and videos and just everything that I don't get in everyday life for this whole weight loss journey, you know, it means a lot. It means a lot to me that you guys are there and interact with me. So I love you guys and I appreciate your friendships and your support. So anyways, enough rambling. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in two weeks unless I come up with some super clever video in between now and then, which we all know is not going to happen. Um, anyways, um, uh, bye. Have a great day. Eat week. <laughs>